Welcome to Creative Biolabs. Here we will explore the de novo antibody sequencing technology and the corresponding services provided by Creative Biolabs. What is de novo antibody sequencing? Based on chromatography, tandem mass spectrometry technology, and computational algorithms, de novo antibody sequencing technique was established to derive the amino acid sequence of an antibody and discover any associated post-translational modification without knowing DNA or protein sequence. This differs from sequence confirmation by peptide mapping, in which the protein sequence is already known and is used as a guideline to confirm the sequence. De novo antibody sequencing is a valuable tool, enabling the production of a commercial recombinant antibody with useful properties and is faster than raising new antibodies from immunized sources. A typical workflow of de novo antibody sequencing is mainly consists of four processes. First, the antibody proteins are digested using an optimized set of orthogonal enzymes with diverse cleavage sites, generating the mixed peptides. Chromatography is then used to separate the peptides. Ultra-high-resolution mass spectrometry tandem 2D chromatography is performed to determine the peptide sequence de novo from tandem mass spectra. Using proprietary software, the overlapping sequences are assembled into a full-coverage protein sequence. After series of verification, ambiguous residuals differentiation, mass weight comparison, and homology analysis, final accurate full-length sequences are confirmed. De novo antibody sequencing can be applied to antibody drug research, antibody engineering, and patent application. Antibody sequence information is significant for the analysis of accurate primary structure, which is the basis to carry out antibody drug research. Sequence information is also required to conduct a modified or recombinant expression of commercial antibodies with helpful properties as well as to achieve the affinity maturation and humanization. The sequences of newly developed recombinant or modified antibodies are required to distinguish them from others and to apply patents for commercialization. Despite of the broad range of applications, de novo antibody sequencing are facing several challenges. The first challenge is the de novo antibody sequencing of CDR3 region. It's difficult to determine antibody variable region sequences with error, especially in CDR3. While the CDR3 of the light chain is mostly encoded by the gemline sequences, the CDR3 of the heavy chain is usually not available in databases. It is encoded by the so-called D segments, but these are modified by nucleases and terminal transferases. Typically, only one to four amino acids of a D segment remains in the matured antibody. The rest of the D segment is artificial and has to be sequenced de novo. The second challenge is the differentiation between leucine and isoleucine. Amino acids leucine and isoleucine are generally considered to be indistinguishable by mass spectrometry for their same mass and similar chemical properties. So it's difficult to differentiate between the two residuals, and this can impose serial consequences on the overall performance of the antibody's specificity and affinity. The third challenge is the sequencing of V, J, and C segments. The V, J, and C gene segments of antibodies are available in public databases. However, during the maturation of the antibody, the B cell introduces hypermutations into the sequence to optimize the affinity. Creative Biolabs provides the professional de novo antibody sequencing services with the following features. We have developed the proprietary database-assisted shotgun sequencing technology to overcome the current drawbacks of sequencing based on traditional methods. We use a high-field thermal scientific orbit trap elite mass spectrometry instrument with 240,000 resolution and less than 1 ppm mass accuracy to perform the services. The masses of the reduced light and heavy chain will be determined 
to validate the determined sequences, and each mutation in the antibody will be validated by at least two meaningful spectra. We guarantee a greater than 30x average coverage. That is, on average, each amino acid of the protein is covered by 30 or more distinct overlapping peptides. For CDR regions, the coverage will be at least 5x. Each amino acid of the variable regions is supported by strong mass spectrometry signals and at least three distinct peptides. Purified monoclonal antibodies in multivalent forms can be sequenced with 100% coverage of the desired regions, as well as 100% accuracy. We combine the quantitative and qualitative information and provide comprehensive analysis for post-translational modifications and sequence variants. In addition, other features including short period, high sensitivity, high throughput, professional team, and one-stop custom service are also reflected in our de novo antibody sequencing services. To overcome the difficulties and challenges in de novo antibody sequencing, Creative Biolabs provides efficient and competitive solutions. For V, J, and C segment sequencing, our mapping algorithm is error tolerant and can reliably match the mutated peptides to the corresponding germline. Due to the high number of peptides, we get sequence information for every peptide bound in antibody. Typically, 20 to 70 different mass spectrometry spectra are generated for each amino acid position. Even proline and arginine rich peptides can be resolved. For the de novo sequencing of CDR3 region, our method generates many overlapping peptides during the fragmentation process, enabling us to sequence very long stretches of unknown amino acids. The high quality of mass spectrometry spectra in combination with intelligent data mining allows us to read the CDR3 like a book. This technique is so powerful that we were able to sequence a 20 kilodalton protein that had no homologue in the database. To differentiate between leucine and isoleucine, we combine comprehensive analysis of WION detection, enzyme cleavage preference, and homology statistics to achieve the accurate differentiation. To determine isobaric amino acids, we can discriminate most isobaric combinations and ensure spout breakage between amino acid dimers. For example, glutamine can be distinguished from lysine, and asparagine can be distinguished from double glycine. Leucine will be predicted from the germline sequences and the cutting frequency of chymotrypsin. In addition, our method works with all antibody formats from all species and can achieve the sequencing of very diluted or ligand-coupled antibodies as well as monoclonal antibodies coupled to matrices and small group labeled antibodies. Mixtures of two light chains produced by older hybridomas can also be sequenced. To achieve the highest coverage and accuracy, we recommend the following to prepare the sequencing samples. First, please ensure your antibody is in monoclonal form. The quantity and purity need to be greater than 0.2 mg and greater than 80% respectively. For the formulation, freeze-dried or dissolved in PBS or equivalent buffers are preferred. Filtration is required. Please filter your samples with 0.22 micron filters. Additional information on your antibody samples, such as antibody isotype, details of unusual formulation, and any information on solubility and stability of the test article. For the turnaround time, it's usually 15 to 28 business days after receiving the sample. For more details about Creative Biolabs' de novel antibody sequencing services and other antibody engineering, please contact us or visit our website.